Hey, what's up you guys? It's me Tristan and welcome to another reaction video. In this one, I'm going to be reacting to the Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 official trailer from Netflix. We've been covering a lot of really awesome Netflix shows on this channel, including Tires, which um, we reviewed back earlier in this channel, as well as some others. I really enjoy Netflix. My favorite Netflix shows are the dating shows because I think some of the people on those dating shows are so funny. Um, I've been watching Married at First Sight lately, and then what is the other one? They had an all-female cast, and they're all, like, getting married to each other. That one was a mess. And uh, if you guys want me to watch one of these and, like, silently people watch and give commentary and low-key judge some of the people on these dating shows, I think that'd be really fun. But um, today we're reacting to Bridgerton Season 3, Part 2, the official trailer on Netflix. I have not watched Bridgerton. I've never seen a single episode, but I know it's very popular. I know it's big in pop culture, and now it's landing on this channel. So if you guys would like to request certain pop culture um, trailers, music videos, movies, TV shows, just feel free to DM me. And I will be happy to try to create a weekly reaction or one of our daily reaction videos to that. And uh, let me know if you guys like Bridgerton. Let me know we, uh, who your favorite characters and actors are. If you guys like the styles in this. Um, this is my first time being introduced to this. So it'll be interesting to just give my raw commentary on it and explore it with you guys. If this is your guys' first introduction to Bridgerton, then we'll be diving into this together. So, um... Before we start, make sure you guys sign up for our 100% free VIP email list so you can be notified about our newest streetwear fashion items that drop one to two times a week. The link is in our bio as well as our link tree and it'll take you to tristanhuntca.com or directly to our email list and you guys can um, type your email in there and you'll be notified. And uh, with that, let's start reacting to the Bridgerton Season 3 Part 2 official trailer from Netflix's YouTube channel. Dearest gentle reader. Lot. Alright, bet. So this is like a British um, show. It looks like it's set in the olden days. This night, an announcement came with great speed. Mother. My mom actually used to watch this show about King Henry VIII like a lot. So I feel like this probably appeals to people who are into like... 1800s 1700s english type shows um i don't know if i'll watch this or if i should get into it clearly a lot of people like it so you guys let me know if i'm missing out i like the styles I like the outfits they got going on it's really old school let's continue this uh trailer oh <laughs> i'm delighted for you both <laughs> i like how they talk call him bridgerton a true I feel like British people don't actually talk like this unless maybe they're like really high class or something like I feel like if I was over there I'd be hanging out with people that talk like Central Sea and I'm pretty sure he has like a Caribbean accent that's mixed with British or I don't know but I feel like that's probably closer to what people talk like but maybe people talk like this like especially like in the royal family um the British royal family not the two that broke away if you guys saw the south park episode on megan markle and prince harry that was so funny but um yeah that's a side note we could react to that another time today we're reacting to bridgerton so let's continue this to penelope featherington who needs fresh air when there is fresh gossip Ooh, i like her outfit and her makeup a lot her hair is really nice Oh, and every eye in the town, focus on our upcoming nuptials. I've always loved you, Colin. There's I feel like it would stress me out so bad to live in this type of society where people are all like prim and proper and like secretly jabbing each other, which we have societies like that in San Diego, and I do not want to live in those neighborhoods. Um, cause it's not fun when people are all uptight and like secretly jabbing each other. Like, I feel like I would just run away into the ocean or the wilderness. I could not live like this. There's nothing that makes me happier than being with you. You have not told him, but you always will. Louis, please do not tell him. We will find out. Congratulations. But you must admit it's all rather sudden. I have known her a very long time, but perhaps it will happen rather... 
What happens if you get married like in these olden times and you just realize you are not attracted to the person you marry? Then what happens? Swiftly. Ah, uh, it's swift because you... Are you going to duel with your own brother? <laughs> or... To the match of the season. Yeah, yeah, it is to truly knowing each other completely. <laughs> Look, I bet she probably did something with her man and she did that toast just to hurt her. See, that's the kind of shady stuff that I could not deal with. I would just go off on people. <laughs> so they want what are you still saying? Have you been writing? Oh, yes, um, letters. Until he knows the real you. This girl needs to honestly stick up for herself. Maybe she should just start pulling some hair and get in a fight. That girl looks like she deserved it. He cannot possibly love you. Colin. I like her outfit right here too. I cannot discover my secret. Whistle down is power. <laughs> if it's too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will reveal it to him myself. I do not like that, like people that go and like gossip or reveal secrets that aren't even theirs to reveal like dang let her do it on her own unless it's really affecting him it's not some secret you will not tell me Colin, i can take care of myself then what good am i to you i don't that's a weird response <laughs> Well, most seasons of our married mart follow a pattern this season maybe that's how the olden day men thought i mean that's how current guys think too and it is nice to be provided for but i feel like it was weird the way he like yelled it at her it is surely a surprise your duty is to cater to mr bridget of dreams what about my dreams ladies do not have dreams dang Ladies do not have dreams in this time. Is it most of Bridgerton's audience female and then they're watching a show about a time where ladies don't have dreams or rights? They have husbands. Oh, that's great. They don't have dreams or rights, but they have husbands. I'm joking, by the way. That is not great. Gossip as I might. But this is the 1800s, okay? This is a long time ago, so this is how it was back then. Doesn't mean it's how it is now. But, like, this world is so big, clearly there's a spectrum of gender rights in different societies, and even here in the States. So, it is what it is. This is a show, it's make believe, but it is based on a certain era. This author cannot tolerate a lie. Part one now playing. Part two, June 13th. I saw this really funny TikTok of this husband and he was totally into Bridgerton like while he was folding the laundry and his wife was like secretly recording him. If you're into this story and it's a good story, clearly it is. It's been going on for a while. Like, let me know. Um... Let me know too if you guys like fantasize about this time period. I know there's a lot of like renaissance fairs. Um, people really like the styles. Um, obviously, I think the renaissance is way before when this took place though. Or like, yeah, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I have not taken European history since like sophomore year of high, of, um, high school. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I thought the styles in this were dope. If you guys would like some similar styles or like inspired styles, I could try to maybe come up with something and talk to our manufacturers, but most likely we probably won't be carrying, um, clothing from this era. But I really enjoyed this reaction. Let me know if I should get into Bridgerton if you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys liked some of the random little thoughts that I had. Um, and I really like these raw reactions, so um, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys for our next reaction video.